20 guests or 200, you still might want to give each one a wedding favor as a memento of special occasion. And if you're talking weddings, it's good to talk to Donna Ferrari, who's here from Brides and your new home magazine. Hi, Hi welcome, Donna. Thank you very much. You always this, have these great ideas. This is yeah. a great magazine. I'm looking at all the things in here uh, that, that brides can do, and, and I thought of something. You know, you could probably recycle this magazine about every year or so, because brides keep popping up and uh, uh, going the, away, huh? There are the repeated etiquette ideas, but there are always new fashions and new trends. In fact, we've been finding new trends for 60 years. 60 really? years? Brides Magazine's anniversary of 60 years. Oh, wow. Congratulations. That's wonderful. So, do we have some trends in well, these party favors? We have trends, we have how-tos, we have things you can make yourself, we have ideas, we have symbols, which is what a token is in the giving of a wedding uh, favor to your guests. For example, this we call a unity candle, when everyone is in the ceremony and at the, at the uh, candle where the bride and groom share a light a candle, mm -hmm. pass it on to their parents, and through the entire audience or the congregation, every guest has a part of the flame. Oh, so we, every guest would get one of these? As you enter oh. the ceremony. Have you ever heard of that? make a pretty dressing on oh, the sure. candle. I see, I'd never heard of that. Uh, Erica Where the Bishop, two people Yeah, do our, the our exec producer did that and was talking to me about how romantic and how nice it was, and yeah. this is a great way to extend that. Unifying it's pretty, it. very pretty. Isn't that yeah. lovely? Also, the vows that a couple makes, filled with important messages of love. And taking that, you can have your printer put those same mm. words like courage and Patient, peace. and dreams, sharing, promises, love. This is terrific. Very romantic. Do an accordion yes. fold, hole punch it, run a cord through it, make a very effective treatment for it. You can oh, yeah. personalize it with your wedding date, and it can sit on a table or a mantle. Very nice. And you know, when here, we can make cones with these, which you're basically just going to roll into the shape like an ice cream cone. You know, the throwing of rice and bird seed. Wheat. Well, it used to be an ancient ritual to do with fertility and prosperity and the path that the couple walk from the ceremony. And like you say, exactly, Bonnie, rose petals and bird seeds are much more ecological. Have you heard that? That because I've heard. the rice, yeah, you don't want it to be on the sidewalk, but the birds will eat bird seeds. You yeah. know, Zsa, Zsa has been married so many times, she has rice marks on her face. Yeah. Did you know that? <laughs> oh, I think I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. A little bit of sealing wax and uh -huh. a piece of ribbon really makes those look <laughs> wonderful. You could put the wedding date on the inside. And so we're putting the rose petals inside. Yes, you to can just throw. Oh, I like that. Did anybody throw anything at you? Uh, no. I did have a friend who was pregnant when she got married and they threw puffed rice. Did you know that? Oh, that's very <laughs> funny. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. You keep doing these and I'll keep thinking of lines. Keep going. Okay. You know how wedding cakes have all these spectacular sugar flowers on them today and you'd like to be able to take one home so you could have one already set on the play setting where the guest sits down on the napkin and then provide them with a nice box oh, so that yeah. it doesn't get crushed when they take it that's home. That's neat. I always keep mine though. I love those. Mine's gone. Well, no. here's one that you can eat. It says love on it, and it's a petit four, and it's made out of raw fondant and icing and edible gold. Edible also, gold? There's wow. There's a bit of lettering done in that. Son of a gun. That's really And, of course, yeah, we've nice. heard of the almonds being a classic. Mm -hmm. That was so in my are, wedding. These are really, they're called confetti or bombonieri, and they have a long history of the bitter and the sweet, for better or for worse. Oh, the bitter nut inside, that. the sugar on the outside. The tool treatment with a bit of ribbon. This is one I like very much, where you can take just uh, as favors pretty pocket scarves or even simple ones for men with a nice tailored trim. You know, later you can use it. Right. And you wrap the little almonds up in those ribbons with love knots on them. Hmm. The That's same can be achieved with paper doilies. Do you know where this tradition got started, where you would, uh, you know, give gifts to the people who attended the wedding? Well, in ancient times, because the bride and groom were symbols of good luck, people would try to take little bits of their ribbons and flowers, so it's a lot easier to just give a gift in the first place, instead of having bits of it taken away, the mm -hmm. tossing of flowers, because these were lucky omens. The same way many of the, uh, of the stories have to do with the warding off of evil spirits, like the throwing of the rice and the carrying of the bride over the threshold so that the lurking demons don't get her. And the ushers who would help the groom bring the bride back to his village so that marauders might not capture her and sweep her away. All these traditions have ancient roots. So what's, uh, now this is a little sewing. Bonnie is great at this. I just can't that do this. That might be but, for Bonnie. Yeah. Okay. A great craft idea being able to take, because you know, it's a lot of fun to make favors yourself mm -hmm. or have a, a pre-wedding party where your friends and your maids and attendants get together and make many of these things. And that's why we have so many ideas. You can fold this into an envelope shape 
I'm doing it very quickly now, but it's easy to get the idea. And then as Bonnie is using a embroidery needle with 1 8 inch ribbon, and you just lanyard style so that in the end you can get a result like this. It's pretty. Make a pretty bow. You could put a photograph of the bride and groom inside. This is pretty quick. These we made very small where when you come in and you're looking for your place card where to sit, you'll see your name and then you can open it up and inside you'll find a card with either your table number or another idea which is to name the tables, things like peace or joy or love or hope. So you know you're sitting at the joy table. That, that hands-on, homemade, time. you know, personal touch is what's so nice about this. I, I, I think it's fabulous. These fans. Also, I want to make one wonderful idea about mm -hmm. ecology and being able to plant a tree, which these are available mail order. These are little seedlings. Oh. Imagine giving these to your guests That's so that great. they can go on to... So uh, do, can any of these be given no matter what kind of a wedding we're having? If it's formal, daytime, nighttime, does it matter? I think you might make a selection appropriate to the type of occasion. Okay. This is a good outdoor uh, summer wedding. I'm making fans. Oh, ah. Pretty I craft those paper, right <laughs> watercolor ah. papers, wrapping paper. How did you In do fact, that? Quite easy. You take ink and a little bit of water, right. and you do something called wicking. So I just put this down in here? There you go. Pull just it up. pause a moment, and then uh, you can continue to do it to create an ombre effect. You might make the water a little bit deeper, depending on how much uh, depth you'd like the design to have. Mm -hmm. That's neat. So and then, you sort of then you let it dry a little bit, and it'll eventually it'll it becomes uh, what that became there. That's yeah, really nice. I like right this, now. and this is a wonderful idea where you make the fan and you write a personal message across here. Like. That's right. And with this gold pen, that's good. Good luck. You know, I love oh, this idea for an pretty. outdoor wedding. I never thought nice about this. Yeah, something that can really people be can used. flirt with them and cool themselves, oh, and they're very them. pretty. Treatments. I like that. What in the world are we writing here? Well, I said. Good luck and have a wonderful life. Yes, that that's something? nice. That is nice. And that's a big fan you got there. There you go. A big fan. That's you can tie it off with a bow and you're all finished. Isn't that lovely? Yeah. This is really, yeah. this is just such beautiful these stuff. You always bring such good. elegant ideas. And Thank a lot you. of these come in Brides Magazine. And also, if you folks uh, would like to write us for the newsletter, we'll take care of it that, uh, that way as well. Donna, thank you so much for being with us. Good here ideas. Thank you. Thank Stay you. with us. Come back with more right after we do this.